Everybody, this is Daniel today. I'm in Tokyo, Japan. I'm in the Shibuya area. And I'm looking looking for some sushi. I got a place that I like. They got some well-priced sets. Um, it's late in the afternoon, so it might be like dinner time. But uh, yeah. Through the Shibuya crossing is, is always crazy. And then now I'm kind of in like these little uh, back alleys here. And uh, yeah. Should be there soon. <laughs> Check it out. So, uh, yeah, I, know, I guess the major question is, are they going to be cool with uh, with some vlogging action? <laughs> so I've been to this place before uh, several times. So I brought my mom, brought my brother, brought her too. So. This is kind of like my go-to mid-range sushi spot in like Shibuya area <laughs> or like in West Tokyo actually I haven't really found another one that I like uh, more than this so. wow this is like the perfect time of day too it's like the sun's about to set and you just have like so many lights and just it's not quite off work yet, so it's a little, the timing is good. So hopefully it won't be too crowded. So here it is. I oh, haven't officially asked. <laughs> Let's get to the video. So usually their lunch sets are less, but I think I'm just gonna have to grab one of these things. But yeah, so lunch is gonna be definitely less. <laughs> Something to consider. Yeah, I usually like going to sushi for lunch, but it's my first day, so I'm on sushi now. And I took an hour earlier, so <laughs> it's that late afternoon. Favorite actually, this one, and then also 
seven row. And then a nice little roll here. And of course the uh, tamago at the end, but wow, this is like serious. This looks good. A little bit. <laughs> I'm never sure where to start the usually like the lighter flavored fish first. Turn it sideways. Just side down. Not too much. Yeah, it's like 25 bucks. That's right. <laughs> amazing to have like Otoro and you know, all those awesome pieces. And, like these are every piece here is like expensive. It's like premier cuts. So this is arc shell clam or akagai, which I like a lot. So it's basically a clam and then they kind of like butterfly it. I heard the G word. Maybe they're talking about <laughs> And I've had like super pricey sushi before, like you know, a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Obviously, their tuna was like a step above, but for the price, this place, like, I don't know what it is, but they do a really good job. Like, the technique, and like, I mean, like, it just it looks right, it tastes right. I mean, totally, it's like, a, it's like an Edomai style. So, like, the OG way. <laughs> Some salmon roll. Looks beautiful. Mm. Mm. Super briny, salty, you know, kind of like pop in your mouth. <laughs> Like a little ginger in the end there, like for each piece. Resets the palate, you know. <laughs> this is also, this sweet, sweet shrimp is like a prime cut, I guess you would call it if you were comparing steak. Yeah. There's actually two tails on there. I'm going to leave the tail on so you have to, to the end of it. Because don't eat that. <laughs> That's great. I never had sweet shrimp before in Japan at a decent like mid-range place like this. You need to. That's a very interesting uh, textural and flavor profile. It is a little sweet too. So yeah, this is by no means a cheap spot. 
but it's not crazy expensive. You're talking about like a hundred bucks or anything. Like twenty-five dollars. And I got a pricier set. They start a lot lower. So. And like I said, lunch. Lunch lunch I think you're in the ten, twelve dollar range even. So. That's pretty good. <laughs> Going in for the uni here. This is it, boys. Just a quick dip in there. Not too much. I'm trying to not to make like, like idiotic facial reactions, but that was really good. And it's just creamy. If you don't like uni, you probably haven't had a good one. No, it just has like an ocean briny, creamy, custardy kind of uh, flavor texture. <laughs> These, these rolls are nice to kind of top, top you off too. Mm. It's like these sprouts. It's like these sprouts. These things, and then like fatty tuna. So the, the texture is kind of like negidoro, but there's no onions. I always eat sushi kind of fast. <laughs> it's like a 10 minute meal in real time. This is good. Good classic. No weird mayonnaise. No blow torching. <laughs> Just good. Let me finish it off with a tomato. Just eat this last, but don't don't dip it in sweets. It's like a it's like a sweet omelet. Kind of caps off the meal nicely. <laughs> So, quick note on miso soup. Don't use a spoon. You're not supposed to use a spoon. Just kind of stir it up a little bit. Mm. There is actually has like just chunks in there. So, um, you wear your bones though. Mm. Yeah, it's just random pieces of tuna that they reuse for the soup, which is nice. Lots of protein. Just oh, rolled out from that spot. It ended up being about $27 with you know tax added to it. Uh, I didn't come late enough, so they didn't have the, the service charge. So if you come like for dinner, you're having drinks, and you know later in the evening, they close at midnight, so it like almost turns into like an izakaya type environment. Later at night, you know everyone's getting drunk, talking, chatting, eating sushi and sashimi and stuff like that. So at that point, they will give you that appetizer. I think it's like 1,200 yen or something like that. It's not optional, it's not a scam, it's just normal for Asia, for the bigger cities and places like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was noticing some of some of the reviews, they're like, oh, it's a scam, and it's like, okay, I, yeah, he's gonna spend all this money and a lifetime of work being a sushi chef to like, scam you out of 1200 baht or 1200 yen or whatever, right? So, anyways, but uh, highly, highly recommended. Um, yeah. I will pin it, but it's like kind of tucked away over here in this alleyway, down like a tad. <laughs> so yeah, um, 
yeah well thanks for joining and I wanted to show you guys like some mid-range options so it's not just all like you know revolving sushi or like that kind of stuff so I feel like for about 4,000 yen I mean you can't go wrong and it's not a lot of food but it's pretty high quality I'm full so I'm not a little dude, so I feel like for most it'll be fine. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for joining. It'll be more in this series. I'll try to do a little more food. It's a little stressful because some places like that I haven't been, like I don't know if they even speak English or not. Like this guy speaks some, and he's pretty friendly, so I uh, I, I don't I don't mind coming in here. And the food is great. And they're friendly enough. And I asked if I could, you know, record, and he said fine. So. You know, just be polite. Like, don't like assume that you can just roll into a random Japanese restaurant and start vlogging. You know, I mean, it's probably not a, not a safe assumption, <laughs> especially in Tokyo where they're they're a little more rigid. You know, here um, if you're in the south, they might not care as much. Everyone's pretty. It's a little more chill. Yeah. Anyways, catch the next one.